we're not playing no games. And welcome back to my channel, guys. We are back with another freaking video. I know it's been a literally a long time since I've spoken to you guys, but I definitely miss making actual content and sit down videos. So we're gonna do a sit down video. Of course, by the title, you can see that we're gonna be talking about 2024 and our goals and our blueprints and how do we plan on being successful this year. So we're gonna go ahead and go over my plan, a little bit of 2023 and our goals, and then see how can we fix it, elaborate it, just so we can make sure our 2024 is very successful. And before we go ahead and get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel everything we talk about usually will be linked down below on my social media on my platform and just let's go ahead and get right into it so I do have my iPad here in my 2023 goals and we're gonna just kind of go over it wasn't like the best year I had but I did have some type of accomplishment but y'all life be life in so we're just gonna go ahead and go over them and like let you guys know how that went um so I did have like a financial goal of saving like 10 to 20 thousand that definitely did not happen I don't even know if I even saved more than what I already had this year but that's fine life happened if you guys don't know I did get laid off fired laid off like I don't know like I just can't keep a job at this point um that's kind of like my luck when it comes to working so in the financial department um we're just gonna go ahead and put that over for 2024 <laughs> I did want to make a salary of $85,000 and that definitely did not happen at all even if it was like a little bit of passive income your girl last year made I want to say the first four months I'm just gonna go ahead and be transparent I made $65,000 and then after that I was making $57,000 um I did take a pay cut and then travel for work and then now I'm currently unemployed so hopefully things go better this year and I can make six figures who knows you never know we're gonna just go ahead and just reach for the clouds and just hope that my next opportunity is a good opportunity but that's kind of where we're at with that one and then I have my two strings of income um that didn't happen at all due to me dedicating myself to a job that just didn't work out I did have like categories last year so I had it like in health and fitness so I wanted to like learn how to focus on habits and like the journey instead of like, oh, I want to lose 20 pounds or I want to look this way. I just wanted to enjoy the journey. So that was one of my goals of last year. And I did pretty much do that majority of the time, but I did fall off towards the end of the year. I wanted to eat healthy 80% of the time. I did feel like I did that probably for like half of the year. And then me working just threw me off when it came to my eating habits, but I'm definitely getting back on that now. Um, Stretching before working out was one of my goals. Your, girls, your girl needs to be flexible. I'm so like stiff. It's ridiculous good news I actually stuck to that uh, all year every time I worked out I'll always stretch there has been not one time so my flexibility has gotten a lot better but I did fall off in the gym we're gonna talk about that later but I, I say that's a success so then my next category is personal. And I'm so sorry if you see my dog in the back, wherever he is, he's going to be popping his head in his nosy butt. So I wanted to go ahead and listen to podcasts and or slash a book for 30 minutes a day. I feel like I did that for the first quarter. And after that, I just kind of fell off. I, I feel like that's not like really me, but I could tell like when I was reading and when I was being consistent that it did impact my mental. So I need to get back into that actually. And I did have the goal to go to three to four trips and one of them out of the country that did not happen at all i did go out of the country one time and i did have one family reunion trip you guys already seen that vlog um i just literally posted it so that was you know i think that's okay two out of three i was supposed to plan the trip for 2024 to thailand that did not happen and again it was just a lot going on maybe i can go for my 30th birthday i did just turn 28 um i don't know we'll see crossing my fingers because i really want to go to thailand so freaking bad it's not even funny i was supposed to also like buy my my first investment property if you guys don't know that's literally the reason why I moved to Texas but life just happened to me again and I still am not able to purchase a home but cross our fingers for 2024 I promise <laughs> I did want to hit 5k on TikTok and YouTube. I am at, I believe, 4,000. Let's check it out, actually. For YouTube, I am currently at 2.5, I believe. Yeah, I'm at 2.5 for YouTube, so I definitely did not make that. And I want to say at the end of the year, I was at like a 2.38. I do keep like a little tabs of like our friend growth at the bottom of the bio, if you guys didn't pay attention to that. And for Instagram, I'm actually at 4,673, so we are growing. I do believe we're 
we're gonna hit 5k this year but we're just we're gonna reach bigger because we almost hit 5k we did it i did fall off the bandwagon but i feel like i'm really about to be on the grind you guys are gonna see a lot more of me because this time while i'm unemployed we are gonna be pushing hard aka while i'm here actually filming this video so then i went ahead and just did like a little morning routine what i felt like my morning should have looked like um i definitely did not stick to that at all but i did write down drinking a cup of water i feel like i kind of did that towards the end like warm water helps me during the winter time because for some reason i would not drink water in the winter when it's cold i'm not drinking water like i may have a cup a day and i'm good so i didn't stop that habit but yeah so that was that um i wanted to start like listen like you know get drink a cup of water listen to my podcast like read in the morning um i just didn't have the time for that so that completely did not happen i wanted to stretch get my little stretch in i did do that when i worked out but i was kind of thinking like a little yoga like pilates like trying to get into that morning you know i don't know y'all i just i be having this vision of big like i have so much expectation of myself and sometimes it's really unrealistic i don't even know why i would want to stretch every morning but i just feel like it's good for your body but i'm not there in my life yet i wanted to work out afterwards um i did i want to say i i had a couple of months where i was streaking it out and then i wanted to eat lunch and prep but honestly this schedule was like for someone who works from home and even though i was home a lot last year i definitely when i picked up that job i it definitely took a toll on me i had literally no time for nothing i didn't have time to eat healthy i didn't have time to go to the gym walk my dog i didn't have time to be prepping no meals like it was really bad and like even my mental was bad there like it was just not a good situation so now that i am let go i am actually very happy i'm in a good mental space and i'm hoping that good opportunities come to me soon so we're just gonna keep it positive but we're gonna go ahead and go into our 2024 goals now we went over our 2023 of like what we did and what we didn't do and then what can we do this year for it to be different because we have a blueprint we are 2024 grinding hard like we want to get our subscribers we want to be healthy we want to lose that weight like we're not playing no games because i feel like for me i don't know about you guys but for me i am turning 30 in the next two years and that is scary i'm not married um probably no time soon having children right now due to my status of obviously not being married but I have to prepare my life for that. I just feel like, honestly, I'm not the person I want to be like when I'm 30. So I was like, I have to get my crap together. So that's what I'm doing. And yeah. Okay. So I have my 2024 goals. Ah, super excited. So we're just going to go ahead and go over those now. So our 2024 goals. This is how we plan on giving a blueprint of how we're going to have a successful year. I just hope and pray to God. Like the two words that I'm literally using for this year is dedication and consistency. Sorry. I don't know why I would say dedication. Discipline and consistency like that is my thing i don't need to be motivated i need to be disciplined i need to know that before i even start thinking like i've told myself literally today i need to stop asking myself dang should i put on makeup for this video like i'm no we're not questioning oh should i go to the gym like we're not questioning nothing no more it's like dude go to the gym be pretty i don't know like whatever it is that you want to do like do not question it because as soon as you start questioning stuff you start coming up with a whole bunch of excuses of why you should be doing something else but in reality you're supposed to be doing what you really supposed to be doing but we didn't talk ourselves out of it so i'm not giving myself no space no room to talk myself out of it like we're coming into 2024 hard so my first goal is to lose weight <laughs> it's always been the same like it's the same every year but i'm so serious this time even though i had chick-fil-a today i know i know i know i know uh, but i actually went to the gym and right now my watch is currently at can you guys see can you guys see my watch it is currently at 800 oops, can y'all see that 861 like period period i did that i did that i did that i've been on that treadmill i've been on that elliptical I would be on the Stairmasters next, give me time. But I am I am not playing with our goals 2024. So I I have to lose this weight. I'm tired of being big. We're gonna unbig our backs. So we're going to the freaking gym. I also want to pay off my debt. I did put myself, I think like $3,000 worth of debt. It's nothing too crazy, but it's like, how did you move here debt free? And it, oh, no, I didn't. How did I have zero debt? paid it off and then now it's up to three thousand like i don't understand myself sometimes i'm so good at finances but sometimes you just fall up the slopes but you gotta catch it early so we're gonna go ahead and pay off our debt when we get some income coming in so that's one of my goals i also want to get my certification this year so my plan is to go ahead and get a pmp certification it is for project management i think i will be wonderful at it of course um i have great like skills and stuff 
skill sets of doing it. I want to get a, a certification. I feel like I already, I just got to up my education because I have a bachelor's degree, but I got to, I got to do more for me to get these jobs that I want. And eventually I would like to be making six figures. If I do have a nine to five, I, I mean, that's, that's the plan. We got to go ahead and get our certification right now. I'm technically playing with it a little bit. Like I haven't really been studying like that, but I did buy a course and we are going to get on it, but that's still one of my goals. Another goal is for me to get a job. I don't know if it's gonna be in project management or any job, but honestly, I want a stable job. Like I'm tired of always losing jobs and just feeling so like, what if, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm just taking my content a lot more serious because I feel like I can't rely on jobs. I have to start relying on myself. So here we are. Another goal of mine was for me to go ahead and get chin lipo. I went ahead and did that. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, I'm still swollen on the side when it comes to my chin lipo. I did vlog that experience. You guys will be seeing that very soon um, after I catch up on my vlogs. But this is kind of what it looks like right now. It looks like I still have a double chin. But honestly, if you look back on my videos, my double chin was like bigger. So it's like I still have one technically, but it's a lot smaller. I'm still swollen and it could be a layer. I was kind of asking myself, maybe it's a layer of fat underneath the muscle. So we still kind of losing weight. It wasn't for me to have a slave face, even though I want one. I just hated my double chin. So yeah, that was one of my goals and we actually already accomplished that because I got my surgery um, January 16th. And today is now actually January 31st. So you guys will be seeing this in February. I also wanted to go ahead and pursue more content for YouTube and TikTok. So sit more sit down videos, more videos that are niche down, that makes sense. Stuff that people actually wanna watch instead of just my vlogs. Because even though I love vlogging, y'all don't love my vlogs. So <laughs> y'all don't really know me to be watching me like that. It's completely understandable. So like just to put more content out on my social media platforms. Um, I put something that had to do with my love life on here. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep that private but I put that down as a goal as well <laughs> and I want to be able to buy my first investment property you guys I've been literally I moved here almost two and a, it's been two and a half years I've been here and I still wasn't able to freaking buy my first house I'm not even asking for like anything fancy I just want like a regular house that I can have roommates in and just live my best young life while I don't have a family and just start building assets I just really 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 want to I took a course on it it's like I'm ready for it but like I need a stable income so so hopefully I'll be able to do that soon because I'm just I've been wanting to do it since I was like probably 20 between 21 and 23 is like when I got into learning more about real estate and stuff like that so I really just want to build my wealth learn more money stuff like I'm really good at finances but I feel like I'm not all the way there yet but it's like I just need that stable job to be able to make those type of moves so that's something that's my goal as well so I hope and pray that I get a stable income so we can buy this first investment property like I'm gonna be so freaking happy I don't even care if it's freaking 30 45 minutes away from downtown like I just just really want to own an asset and then for my income I do want to make anywhere between 85,000 to 100k I'm crossing my fingers that happens I don't care how it happens I don't care if it's passive I don't care if it's from one job like I just need to make some good money because the way life be life in like I got goals I got big goals and I can't do that making you know money that's not that good in order for me to get you know my stuff accomplished I'm trying to be careful with my words I'm not saying like you know I don't know I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the next one <laughs> I also have a goal a savings goal i'm gonna keep that private as well just because I don't know if I should let y'all know that we are on YouTube and we are in the public, but just know I want to save a couple of thousands of dollars. We'll see in the future if I'll expose that, but I'll probably give it to you next year like I did last, like, you know, for the 2020. I'll probably do it like I did last year and just give it to you later, but I, I'm not going to give you that information right now. And my new goal is for me to go ahead and hit 10K on TikTok. So I think we can do it if we stay consistent. I've been posting every freaking day. Besides yesterday, I did only post once, but I'm posting every Every day, literally twice a day. Um, it's exhausting. I'm talking to the camera, I'm giving people my thoughts. And I have to go after this video and do voiceover. So I'm just trying to bust my butt off and just let you guys know I'm willing to put in the work. And I don't know, I think I have a good personality. I don't know, I feel like you should go ahead and follow me on TikTok. Um, I don't have any goals for YouTube just because I didn't even think that I would be doing YouTube. I thought I was gonna have a job when I was doing this. So um, yeah, uh, I don't have any goals for YouTube. Uh, maybe 5k we could just keep it from last year 5k is fine I'm okay with that and then I want to go to DreamCon uh, like oh I think it's gonna happen in March and I don't have an income so if you guys don't know I am a huge anime fan so like I literally wanted to go ahead and I don't know like I just really wanted to go ahead and go to my first like comic 
Comic Con like anime event, and that just did not happen. It did well. It didn't happen last year, so I didn't. I didn't really want to until this year, 2024. But I mean, already the tickets are already sold out. Like imagine like a black anime. Like oh, it just sounds so freaking fun. I'm a huge anime fan, so yeah. If you guys didn't know, if you watch anime, comment down be below your top three right now. Top three. Top three. If you really love anime, down below. And no, drop the balls either. I'm just kidding. It counts. It counts. It counts. And then I want to go ahead and travel. I don't have too much travel goals just because I have a, like a lot of financial get my crap together this year. So I don't have a lot of travel goals. I just honestly just want to get my house. I would love to probably like, you know, go home or something like that. But I feel like this year I'm not really going to be traveling much. We'll see. But I don't have no goals for it. We're going to go somewhere. We just don't know where. We don't know how many times. Like we just kind of go with the flow this year. So in our next segment of this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about me splitting my goals up into quarters. So if you guys know there's this it's called like 12 week year it's a book i did start reading it but i kind of already got the concept from tiktok and just looking all over social media and youtube it basically it's like this method where you want to go ahead and split your 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 goals into quarters business do all the time so i was like you know i think that would be a great idea so i can always come back i feel like i have so many goals this year that's gonna be really hard for me to like try to do everything all at once and i'm not really keeping track of it so i want to do something different this year and i want to do quarterly goals so i split my i did my first quarter and my first quarter only i didn't worry about quarter two three four only because i feel like let me see how quarter one goes let me reevaluate, and then i can go ahead and add or subtract or you know just adjust basically for quarter two so for my quarter one i want to say it's all the way until april um and that's when quarter two starts after that so my quarter one so far this is what i have down or is it to march i don't know y'all know I, I put it down as march but honestly i think it's april i don't know why i did that anyways so quarter one, I have I have down like for quarter one. So for quarter one, I have down focusing on my nutrition. Um, you guys already know I have like a hard time when it comes to like losing weight and things like that. Like I go to the gym and I can be consistent in the gym all I want to. Not saying that I don't see results, but I see results very slowly. And that's just honestly because I have a hard time with my nutrition. I eat healthy meals, but like I eat healthy meals, but it's like I constantly I don't know. I do eat healthy meals, but like uh, it's 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 complicated like i eat too much of it there you go i feel like i eat too much of it so it's like i will eat like oatmeal with like bananas and like peanut butter and it's like babes that's right even though it's healthy you know what i mean healthy but like it's it's too much carbs already you know so like or I eat carbs every single meal like all three meals i'm eating like okay cool toast with my eggs and then i have like eggs and rice and then i'll just have something else and potatoes or whatever you know it's like girl you, you had carbs all day and i don't eat enough protein and stuff like that so it's like it's stuff that i know but my goal for 2024 is honestly to focus on my nutrition it's not for me to go to be going to the gym every day that's not what it is it's literally for me to learn more about my food and my my intake so i could be better at that and i feel like everything already we already know all the stuff starts in the kitchen so just learning new healthy ways to kind of just like eat better i did tell myself that i only want to have like only be able to eat one meal a week but honestly i have not been sticking to that like i've been eating when i've been i've been making like smart decisions so far just because it's already january obviously um i've been making better decisions but there are some times where i won't eat out at all the week and then sometimes i'll eat out twice that week but I've been making like smarter decisions and stuff where I go out and I only eat from an appetizer meal. Also, I don't have a job, so we're not spending money anyway, so it doesn't matter. I haven't been drinking, I haven't been doing any of that stuff. I kind of just been, you know, sticking to water. Like right now was my first time with the Chick fil A having like a diet cook or something like that. But usually I'm just trying to stay focused on my goals. Like I need to, you know, get it together. We're about to turn 30 in the next two years, so I'm just hoping this year we can actually get it together. Um, I also have down my, uh, Sorry. I have done my chin line goal. That's already done, so we don't need to really talk about that because that will be in another video. And then I want to go ahead and get a job or like a placeholder job because I, I honestly was not like in the place that I was at. Um, but I got fired, so I guess there's no need for us to do that anymore either. Hopefully, I can get a job that I feel stable in. I feel differently now. And then quarter one, I was supposed to get my certification. Um, So honestly, I've been slipping. I haven't been studying like that. I've been kind of just like focused on content and other things, but I still need to focus on my education as well. So we're gonna be working on that. Um, I need to figure out a way to kind of like do my little check-ins to see how I'm doing and just make sure that I'm sticking to my quarter one goals. Cause things kind of already shifted already. And then I want to go ahead and pay off my debt. So that definitely is not gonna happen quarter one because I don't even have a job. So. <laughs> 
there's that. Pretty much my goals of 2024, how we plan on accomplishing it. Literally, I just broke it down. I looked at my 2023 goals first, and then I looked at my 2024 goals, you know, from my 2023 goals. And after that, I made my mind up to go ahead and break it down in quarters. And then when I did break it down in quarters, I wrote down my goals and how do we actually plan on getting there. I feel like a lot of people say they have goals. Like, I really knew people who will be like, oh, yeah, I want to lose weight this year. And I'm like, okay. But, like, literally don't have no plan to lose weight. They just say they want to lose weight and don't have a plan. Like, why do people do that? That's, like, a little rant of mine. But, like, I don't like when people do that. Like, they'll literally say a goal. Like, oh, I want to I want to be rich this year. I want to make more money. Okay, babe. But, like, what is your, like, you have to have a plan. Like, you need a plan. So, my tip to you guys is whatever goals that you have, break them down into quarters and only put, like, four, maybe five max in the quarter and hyper focus and literally put down how do you plan on getting there and make sure that it's something that's literally realistic you don't ever want to be unrealistic when it comes to your goals because it's going to be so freaking you're going to upset yourself when you set a goal that is too high to accomplish like it's better to be realistic and then get a goal that way compared to like oh just overdoing it so just go ahead and set your goals up make sure they're realistic and write them down i did a vision board with my friends i can go ahead and show you guys i'm just showing you guys everything in one video i should have split this up but oh well Maybe I should place it a screenshot somewhere over here so you guys can see what my vision board looks like. I'm also going to show you guys in person in a bit, but I just want to, I don't know if I'm going to place it here or show you, whatever it looks like, I don't know. Yeah, so this is my vision board of 2024. I don't have a monthly one or anything like that. It was great talking to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to know any more questions, any more tips, or how do you guys plan on being successful this year? Like, I want to know you guys' go for 2024. If you guys can go ahead and comment down below, like, what do you plan on changing? What, how do you plan on being different this year? Like, we, we're doing better this year. And if I have to check in on you, and you got to check in on me, like, we're going to call each other out this year because we're not playing no games. But I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Again, my name is Tatiana Edgeworth. It was nice talking to you guys and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and everything all my social media will be linked down below and i'll see you guys soon okay bye